In this video, I will be showing you how to use the group record functionality in Airtable's grid view to make cleaner, more simple ways of viewing and organizing the data inside of a particular table or view. So in order to add a group, all you need to do is go up to the toolbar at the top, click group, and select which particular field you want to group based on. You can also go to the uh, field itself and click uh, group by this field in order to group um, in a little bit more of a quicker, faster way. You can add subgroups to this as well. For example, I could add company. There's only one particular uh, record for each company, which doesn't make this as useful, but you can imagine if we had multiple opportunities in our sales pipeline for each company, this could be a pretty useful way of looking at your data. I'm going to take that off for now. Uh, but another thing that you can uh, use inside of this particular functionality is the ability to sort these groupings based on either the from first to last if it's a text or last to first if it's a text field or a single select or any type of um, field with an order. And if it's a number field, it's going to go from least to greatest or from greatest to least. When it comes to reassigning these uh, grouped values, you can actually go to any record inside of your base and drag and drop it into a different grouping in order to quickly change the value of that record. Additionally, when it comes to the summary bar, you can see the summary bar, uh, a, a different version of it for each group uh, at the group level, which is really useful for just aggregating data um, for each group rather than the entire table at once in the bottom summary bar. Finally, when it comes to uh, kind of creating a more cleaned up view of all this, you can actually click on these three dots of any group and collapse that particular group if you don't want to see that data anymore. Um, you can expand it again, or you can collapse every single group um, if you want to just see the summary data at, at it by itself instead of having to see all the records within each group as well. So that is how to use group records to uh, clean up your Airtable grid view. Stay tuned for the next video.